For any patient arriving in the emergency room, the goal is to be seen and treated as quickly as possible. In a few hospitals, artificial intelligence is now speeding things up. First comment out of my mouth when I saw this was like, whoa. At Humber River in Toronto, powerful computers are now accurately predicting how many patients will arrive in the emergency department two days in advance. It's going to be extremely busy with the number of rooms that need to be cleaned, and you're going to need a lot of staff at that time. The predictions come from software processing real-time data on admissions, wait times, transfers and discharges stretching back over a year. It's finding patterns and pinpointing bottlenecks. So how long it takes your doctor to see you, how long you're waiting for your bed to be cleaned, how long you're waiting to get up to your room. If you can shorten each one of them, you can start saving a lot of money. Patients are now moving through the system faster, allowing the hospital to see an average of 29 more patients a day. The potential for really almost a re revolution in, in healthcare in, in, next, in the next few decades is, is huge. Yashua Bengio is one of the pioneers of deep learning, an advanced form of AI. Based on the data they're fed, computer programs can now make assumptions and learn as they go, much like the brain does. Pathology, dermatology and radiology departments will likely be the first to see major changes. All of these images right now are processed by people who painstakingly have to look at all the details and check for problems and so on and can sometimes be distracted and miss things. Machines can be trained to be as good or better than doctors uh, or technicians at these tasks. But in order for machines to learn, they need vast amounts of information from us. In our hunger for more data, in order to power these, re these tools, are we introducing a form of surveillance within our society? This bioethicist isn't against AI integration in healthcare, but warns anything involving big data, profit driven companies, and healthcare should be heavily regulated. And AI won't necessarily serve everyone fairly. The algorithms aren't coming out of nowhere as human beings are creating those. So, any of the biases that we might have ourselves, we bring those in. We may not even be aware of those. The companies that are building those devices should be accountable, should have a responsibility to explain how the system is designed. It's going to happen. Everyone agrees AI offers huge potential for improving medical care. Have you traveled outside the country? But the heart of medicine is trust and human interaction. Finding the balance will be a challenge. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.